What it do, gang gang? This is your girl, Lily Katie, coming back to y'all with a random read. We're just gonna have some random messages for the collective today. Okay, just some random messages. All right, so let's see what's going on. Thank you, Spirit God, and Sister High Spotlight for the messages and gives me as a vessel. Let's get some random messages here. Okay, the first one out is broke as fuck. Somebody is really struggling financially, okay? We got sex magic, okay? Somebody went broke doing sex magic, okay? Somebody done spent all their little coins on sex magic rituals, okay? And that is the karmic by it being in red. Anything else, spirit? All right. This is the, then this deck is messages from the karmic, the divine feminine, and the masculine or the the, the true feminine the masculine and the karmic okay we got i'm watching to see if you are really done with me unhealed broken broken so since you left someone they have been watching you okay or they walked away from you however it happened okay remember this is a general energy read switch the roles as you see fit okay so they said i'm watching to see if you're really done with me and they really broke and broken about this okay so the karma is broke for doing all this sex magic and the masculine is broke okay anything else but you always in the energy of you will always love this person but i feel like you're choosing you and what makes you happy collective good for you anything else spirit yeah the masculine is very confused yeah all right they're in a confused energy because they don't know what you're going on in your life they don't know if you will take them back they don't know if you're really done they just really confused and i feel like there also is a lot of confusion because they're under some type of false illusion with this all this uh magic this karmic was doing but you said you survived the narcissist but you love them okay anything else spirit yeah we got i'm having a baby but it's not the divine feminine i mean it's not the divine masculine so the karmic could be putting this connection it feel crossing okay so this masculine could be thinking that this is their child so this is why they also could be confused okay all right yeah again with a narcissist survived the narcissist at the bottom of the deck I'm going to pull a few more of these. I'm going to keep it to the next deck because I have a lot of decks out. I don't want it to be that long. We got, I do not like your you or your energy divine feminine. So this karma does not like you, okay? Yeah, stay away from me and let me heal. That's your energy here. You just feel like you just need this time to yourself. You don't want to be involved with all this drama, okay? Yeah, didn't I say living in an illusion? And I say, yeah, from all this sex magic that being done. Yeah. And um the the uh karmic is in the energy of you're nothing like me, divine feminine. They feel like you're not like them, but they don't like you either. Okay. It's not necessarily a bad thing, okay? They're living in an illusion, they're being a they're being a user, okay? So they could have seen some type of benefit by being in this connection with this karmic but ultimately it ultimately ended them in being them caught in hell they're going through some type of awakening because what they miss you in their life then the karmic is also doing candle magic so we got sex magic candle magic and they going broke as fuck trying to do all this um uh, spell work okay people are spending all their little money all right let's see so i'm gonna just pull some more random messages it's just random y'all so take what's yours and leave what's not. All right, where my music stop playing? Okay. Oops. Okay, so let's see. What else is going on with these connections? Yeah. So this is what they're not saying. We're just going to get some random messages here. gonna get some more tea what's going on and then we're gonna do random messages i'm gonna pull a few from this deck and a few from another deck and then we're gonna move it on it's just random messages okay anything else here what's going on with these connections what's going on in this connection for the collective here thank you thank you thank you we got all, all drinks on me but gas tank on E. Okay, so somebody's out here, you know, pouring and living a good life and, and really don't have the money to do so. Okay, anything else? We got 
I'm waiting on you to reach out first. So this person's deliberately not reaching out to you. They want you to make the first move because I feel like they, again, going back to confuse. They don't know what you want. This person's fear of rejection. If they're definitely a narcissist, they do not like to be rejected. They like attention. They feed off of attention. Okay, they like to be admired. So they, they don't reach out because they fear that you will reject them. Yeah, reconnect in the reverse. They feel like some of y'all don't want to creep. Um... Um, reconnect. And then we have a channel song, The Sweetest Thing by Refugees and Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. But look up that song and see if that resonates with you. <laughs> Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? We got Destiny here and we got messages and dreams so you guys are receiving uh messages in your dreams from your spirit guides and ancestors about how to move forward okay going towards your destiny here and we got screenshots somebody's definitely screenshotting you and i'm getting could be talking about you you're a whole hot topic okay yeah fate okay unhappy home life somebody is fated to suffer here and have an unhappy home life for what they've been putting out, all this magic being getting done, they're fated to suffer and be unhappy at home, in their home life. Yeah, it's about this two-faced energy. They're fated to suffer. Okay? We got out energy in reverse. Wisdom. The ancestors is not guiding this person no more. This karmic. They lost ancestral wisdom here. Girl fight. Yeah, this person could be causing arguments, physical fights, and they could be threatened. And somebody is feeling very ashamed because they have holes in different area codes. Okay, somebody also could be feeling like, you know, regretful and just, they trying to hide it too. So, because they are ashamed of what they was actually doing and they feel stupid because they played with you with these low vibrant two-faced energies. Okay, we got running from karmic and unhappy home life came out again. So for those who have moved in with their karmic or um, their karmic have moved into them, they now they running from them because they so unhappy at home. We got you will never get the chance to hurt me again. All right, you're not giving this um, mask on another chance for some of y'all. And then we got girl like me. You feel like the hugs be winning. Yeah, they, they. Hate cause you ain't, they hate you cause you ain't, they ain't you. Yeah, you got people hating on you because they ain't you. We got, but fear said do not give up. And we got chaos. I wish a motherfucker would energy. Okay, cause I feel like, um, this karmic is not going to give up with causing chaos. They're doing too much. And by, I wish a motherfucker would energy. That's the queen of. The queen of uh, wands energy. This person could be very attractive. The karmic, karmic looking you up also to see what the hype is. Okay, trying to see why this masculine is so stuck on you. What you got over them. Okay, because they feel like the original they are gift. Okay, but you, you see straight through me. Yeah, you see straight through all this chaos. Okay, and this person that they're dealing with, if you know who they are. You see them for exactly who they are. Evil. Break my heart. See, I want to know what she have on me to make you break my heart. See, I can't make it up. Perspective in the reverse. Somebody needs to change their perspective. It's fucked up. Anything else? Yeah, I like the new me. You said you like this new you. The one that's healed. All right? We had distortion, but that's in the reverse. I feel like things were distorted. Distorted. The perception of things were at first, but you changed your perception. Okay? Again, screenshots is coming up. Somebody screenshot like a motherfucker. <clears throat> I thought it's a choke. Yeah, somebody's definitely talking some cash money. Okay, cash money shit. All right, anything else, spirit? What does she have? Together, the world could be ours. That's in a reverse. I feel like this masculine is choosing um life over destiny. I mean, uh, life over death. They're going towards things that don't longer serve them. They're not going to their divinely guided path here. Okay, we got high vibe in reverse. Yeah, they're not vibing very high. And that's why their blessings are being blocked here. Sometimes I had to fight because my mouth too sleep. 
Yeah, I pillow talk to the karmic about about you. I'm free now. Yeah, you have freed yourself from this uh from this from this situation, but whoever they're dealing with, they pillow talking to them about you, and that's not making it so that's not making it so any better because now this person feels like they wanna know what the happy is. Why this person always talking about this person? You know, let me go see why this person always, you know, um, speaking so highly of this person and feel like they can't just let them go. So that's what's causing the problem here. Somebody's definitely in their feelings here. And it's lowering their vibe. I can't make it up. I said lowering their vibration. Low vibes, energy, dark, heavy, fear, worry, anger, and suffering. Okay. It's lowering their energy. They in a little teach me how to love by music. Soul, child, and destiny. They feel like you are their destiny. They want you to teach teach them how to love you correctly. Yeah. They don't feel like they can they don't feel like they know how to love correctly. You got this in the reverse. They don't feel like they're gonna be able to love you and how they in the way that you need to be loved. Okay, this person um lacks self-confidence and self-love in their self. So this is why they're not open to uh giving and receiving love they're beautifully broken though it could be healed okay anything else man the message is for the collective spirit kill them with kind of spirit said don't worry about all these people talking about you screenshot stuff you're a whole hot topic but spirit said don't never lower your vibration for these people she, the spirit said kill them with kindness yeah, karmic debt. All they're doing is building up karmic debt by fucking with you. Yeah, somebody will lose a car because what? Their intentions were not put pure because there was a hating ass energy. Somebody's receiving messages and angel numbers, so pay attention to that. Angel number 10, 10, 10. Specifically, somebody is going through a spiritual awakening, okay? Yeah, somebody is definitely a puppet. Somebody is being used here, okay? Hours at and hours and hours by me along another channel song okay spiritual growth but somebody's also spirit is trying to get somebody to uh work on a spiritual spirituality and grow here but somebody is definitely lacking self-love because that's why they have a lot of broken prom from broken promises here okay because maybe somebody didn't love them how they need to be loved because they didn't love themselves okay and spirit is trying to teach them to grow okay and we got shame by Summer Walker. Okay, somebody wants you to accept them for who they are. But I feel like it's only okay if they're trying to grow and change. But I feel like this person is just, I feel like they just don't know what to do. Whole thing, that came out again. They want you to accept them for how they are right now. All right, pull a few more. Yeah, I'm tired of pretending to be strong. I need you. Yeah, this person just really going through it. They need you in their life right now because they feel like they was being foolish. Feel like this person feel very, uh, like very in a, a energy of feeling regretful, okay, and feeling like they just really made a mess of things and they don't know how to get themselves out. I feel like this person is so deep in this stuff they don't even know what their way out. Yeah, it's because you intimidated them and this karmic don't. They feel comfortable because they were vibing too low, so a, like a trick, like right. Your energy so high it intimidates them. Yeah, they were dealing with a sneaky link. That didn't intimidate them, but Spirit said, get motivated and relax, okay? Yeah, take a break. It's in a reverse, so somebody needs to take a break from something because somebody's trying to sabotage somebody. They got daddy issues, okay? Sabotage here, but it ain't gonna work. They getting readings on you. Yeah, but they see that you, they told them that you was closing cycles. Take, and somebody needs to take a break from trying to destroy you and heal their um, child, inner child, because they have daddy issues. And it's dealing with the unawakened, unawakened twin flame, doing tricks, turning tricks. They a trick. Ooh, child. Mm, mm, mm. Talk is that fuck at the bottom of the deck. This unawakened twin flame is um dealing with someone that, has daddy issues, okay? They could be doing tricks, turning tricks. They a trick, okay? And Spirit wants them to take a break from this connection, too. I will never forget you or this connection. Yo, but they are looking as motherfucker. Spirit said, find a peace of mind and ring the alarm, okay? Yeah, change your surroundings. Red flag, red flag. Change, change your surroundings. All right, I think that's it. And Spirit said, recharge. What's this? Yeah, lay down with dog and catch fleas. Uh-huh, and bad. So somebody's gonna have some bad health. 
Cause they lay down with dogs and caught fleas. Mm. Itchy, itchy, itchy. All right, what else? Mm. I like to keep my dicks turned over so I know which ones are clean. All right, so we're gonna close out with random messages they want to tell you collectively. Thank you, thank you for the spirit guys and sister for the messages. These, this, whoever, because it's general um, messages, some of these karmics are very messy, okay? They try to paint you in this light. They want people to see you differently. Um, they don't want people to see the greatness in you, but they don't have no control over that. Okay, need you bad this plane. They want you bad back, collector. Like, these people are very um, low vibing. They don't like you, though, because they don't like your high vibrational energy. And also, with this person pillow talking to them about you, they don't make the situation even better because this person can feel that, you know, their your, their heart is with you, okay? So, this makes the karmic mad. Ooh. I was foolish to ever leave your side. Cheer for what was riding for my eyes. We got, I want to control you. So that, that was a blockage. This person tried to control you. Okay, that narcissist like energy. They wanted to, to control the connection. Okay, anything else here for the collective? I crave attention. Anybody will give it to me. Narcissist, and they were non committal. So they just went, whoever was admiring them at the time, giving them attention that they wanted and with who they was able to control. Yeah, but they said they have too many secrets to come towards you right now. Yeah, they said, I want to call, but I don't. Okay, because they don't call because they're too busy entertaining somebody right now. That's giving them attention. I want to spend time with you alone, but they want to spend time with you, collective. Anything else that person's not saying? Again, another blockage. I deal with others because they never tell me, no, this person is damn spoiled. This is a spoiled energy. Yeah, but they want you back. It's like they're getting in the way of their own happiness. It's like crossing, crossing, crossing. Anything else, spirit? Yeah, now they're very much stressed because they got themselves in a whole mess because they're dealing with someone who is very low vibrant, another blockage. I do not listen to my intuition. This person does not follow the guidance of the divine here, but they feel like you pull on their heartstrings, okay? This person is not is not spiritually growing. They are obsessed with you, okay? They definitely wondering what you got going on. They looking you up. All right, anything else, spirit? Anything else? We got sometimes I feel like you're good to good to me. I said you intimidate this person with your energy. I don't trust you. You don't trust this person. Alright. And I just want to have fun. That's crossing. They just want to have a good time. They don't they're very they don't want to be tied down. They just want to go towards whatever giving them the most attention at the time and giving them their way. Yeah, I need time to heal. That's crossing. This person is not healing. Yeah. They fear you will replace them though. Anything else? Yeah, you're always on their mind. And they, that's why they pillow talking. Yeah, they hide that they spiritual, though. Mm -hmm. So they could. Like, I, I, I um, get it, some of them may be getting reading from you and speaking to spiritual people about the connection. Because they want to know why it's so strong. Yeah, I'm afraid of commitment. That's why they're not committal. Yeah, fake love offer to a pick me energy. Didn't I say they entertaining someone? Why they're not coming towards you? Yeah, I chose them because they don't... I can't make this up. I chose them because they don't intimidate me. I make pro fake profiles to watch you. I pretend to act tough. Well, this person is very much so bothered. This person bothered as fuck. Okay. Crossing again. You make me better. I feel like you forced this person to grow. And they didn't want to have the growing pains. You can't have the storm without the rainbows. Your light... Um, you can have the rainbows without the storm. Excuse me. Your smile lights up the room. They feel like you are the light. Another crossing. I see someone else as wish fulfillment because this person who did, who they're dealing with, do not tell them no. This is a blockage. Ooh, I almost broke my nail. Whoever they're dealing with, don't tell them no. Give them whatever they want. Give them all the attention. Let them have their way. Let them control them. 
okay? And that's what's causing this blockage. And they don't really see them as wish fulfillment and love. They just, this person get them whatever they want. They wish it is fulfilled. They don't have to grow. They don't have to be non-committal. They can still run around and do what they want to do and be in this low vibrational energy and still have their way. They're not committal still with this other person. Yo, I'm jealous of your new relationship with lover. For those of you guys who have moved on, they're jealous. Okay? I regret every hurtful thing I said. And when you're silent, it hurts me. Uh, it worries me. Yeah, this person don't like that you're not reaching out. Yeah, I'm still in love with the, my ex. And they still in love with the ex. I'm hiding things because I'm a saint. Okay? I'm jealous of your new lover. Relationship that came out again. I told you this person is very feeling very ashamed about what they've been doing. They don't want you to know, but they stalking you. They obsessed. Stalking you at home and at your job. Okay? Okay, I'm going to pull a few more. I'm going to close out. We got another crossing card. Jesus Christ. I will regret if I have to watch you with someone else. They're going to stop this from happening. They're going to try to sabotage. They said they're jealous of your new relationship for love, and they're going to try to block this from this from this moving forward. Yeah, I'm hiding the baby. But it ain't yours. They hiding the baby that ain't theirs, remember? They said, I'm, I, I'm, I'm having a baby, but it's not the divine masculine. They're hiding a child. That ain't, child, that ain't even theirs. Child, ooh. You can please me in a ways other people can't, and... Feeding addictions to cope. This person is feeding their sexual addictions, okay? But they feel like you can't, nobody do it like you. No one do it like you. Yeah, I need to confess my true feelings. That's crossing. This person was never, was never genuinely expressing how they feel towards you. They held back on purposely trying to emotionally control you. They hate your spiritual gifts because you see right through them. And you intimidate me. I'll never be good enough. That came out twice. Anything else? I don't, I, they feel like they don't have enough to come towards you. Remember I said unhealed, broken, broken? Yeah, they left you for someone else, but y'all already know that. I am confused. I don't know what to do. Didn't I say this person confused? They don't know whether to sit, stand, or walk. They just don't know what to do. They got themselves in so much shit. Yeah, look, you don't trust me. I feel like y'all, it's it's both ways. They, you, you don't trust them, they don't trust you. It's crazy. I feel like it's, it's not that collective. It's, I don't feel like it's not y'all not trustworthy. I just feel like this person see your value and they just feel like you entertaining other people. And they talking about they make me happy because they feed their addictions. It's not that they're truly happy with this person. Okay? Yeah, I'm jealous of your gifts. That's blocking. This person really hates your spiritual gifts. For those who have a spiritual gift, like entirely intuitive or you read tarot or anything like that. Anything like reading energy, they hate it because you see through them. You see through the bullshit. Yeah, and they're going through hardships with money. I want to give you the world. That's because the karma spent all the money on um sex, uh, sex magic and candle magic. And they probably, the karma probably coming to them for money. I'm going through hardships. Yeah, I'm dealing with other people sexually. Didn't I say somebody finna have bad health? Somebody finna catch some. Hopefully, it's something they can get rid of. Yes, they can. Okay. I feel you're the one. They feel like you're the one, though. Yeah, and you humble them. Walking away caused them to be humble. Come out of that pride and ego. It was a, 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 a destruction of pride and ego. Spirit tried to knock that pride and ego down. Okay. I want you to accept me as I am. They want, didn't I say that shame? They want you to accept them as they are. I'm playing and ended up playing myself. Yeah, they ways cause them to be in this energy. Yeah, but they feel like you belong to them. Ooh, they so obsessed. I and they regret what they did. Anything else, spirit? Oh, shit, so much shit popping out. Um, that came out already. I cry when I'm alone. Yeah, this person is really texting and deleting. Okay, they really get ready to say something to you, but they just delete it. They don't have the confidence to even come towards you. They so fear of, they so they fear losing you so much. It's causing them it's causing them a lot of pain. Now they feel like they're damaged goods. At the bottom of the deck, they love everything about you. So if this person ever said mean things to you and made you feel like you weren't shit, they actually are in love with you. They were just trying to because you intimidate them, so they wanted you to bring you want to make you feel small so they could feel bigger. 
so they can feel like they're deserving of you. This person feel like they don't deserve you. All right. Thank you so much, gang, gang. That's it. Good night.